Where, where is your evidence that all these prophets that came, yes. that support our narrative and worship with God and God alone, okay. where did they preach the Trinity? They didn't need to. Just for argument's sake, the, cor the, the scripture is corrupt. Yes. But that doesn't have anything to do with whether I can justify my belief based on what is in the book. On the third of every night, does Allah descend? Yes, to the third. So okay. how can something outside of creation descend no, into see, creation? No, see, that's firstly, that's he that. told you that, that, that defies logic. You believe creation is one person, one being, right? Christians say there's nothing like God because God is one being, three persons. That is the true definition of nothing like creation. That the, where we're quoting from is reliable. We need to make sure it's from God. Because if it's not from God, what am I quoting? What, 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 am, what am I quoting? Because John 5 3. If, John, if, if, John, if, John, if, first John 7. John, first John 5 7. What's that? 7 5. Is that what you're going to quote? Okay. What is that? What's John 5 7? I don't, I don't know. <laughs> okay, no, no, go on then. Yeah. Make no, that's what I'm saying. So. Um, Okay, so our, our, our take on the matter is very clear, like, do you want to start first with this? Okay, so for example, in Islam, it's very simple, yeah, we believe in the oneness of God, um, that there is nothing like him, yeah, that's why we recite five times a day, Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim, Awadu Billahi Minash Shaitan ar-Rajim, Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim, Alhamdulillahi Rabbil Alameen, Ar-Rahman ar-Rahim, Maliki Yawm al-Deen, what is this? We seek refuge okay. in God from the cursed Satan. So the, mo the most merciful, the very merciful, God's attributes. Yeah? Alhamdulillahi Rabbil Alameen All praises and glory and gratitude belong to the Lord of the whole universe We acknowledge His Lordship Yes? Alhamdulillahi Rabbil Alameen Ar-Rahman Ar-Rahim The most merciful, the very merciful Maliki Yawm Al-Din The owner of the Day of Judgment So now he's the owner of the Day of Judgment There's no Prophet Muhammad, no Jesus peace be upon him Just him, yeah? Maliki Yawm Al-Din this is very profound, right here. Yeah? These two statements, you alone we worship and you alone we ask for help. What does that mean? This is where every majority of the religions gone wrong. Yeah? Okay, be it Christianity, be it Sikhism, Hinduism, what other religions, even there's some Muslims who have a problem with this. Yeah? Guide us to the straight path. The path of those whom you favoured, not of those who earn your anger and went astray. Now, this is what Islam is. This is the mother of the book, Surah Fatih. Now, why did when I mention was it revealed? Um, was that, was that the Surah first? Fatih. I don't know exactly what Surah Fatih was revealed. Was that the beginning of it? So, one of the it first might, revelations? No, I wouldn't say it's one of the, it was one of the first revelations. The first revelation was Ikra, the uh, name of the book. That wasn't the first one yet. So was it Medina or Mecca? I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Surah Fatiha. I'm not sure if the Meccan of uh, Medina. Uh, I'm not sure. Yeah? But do you see what makes us so different? Yeah? We affirm God's Lordship. Yeah? Okay. So when we said all oh, praises belong to the Lord of the whole universe. Okay. <laughs> we believe when God Almighty does anything, yeah, he does not need Jesus, he does not need Muhammad, okay. he doesn't need Moses, he doesn't need angels, he needs nobody. That's point number one. This is Tawheed. Don't worry, don't worry. God Almighty is watching. No, no, no. I'm now, like, when Allah Subhanahu wa Taala says, "Iyaka na you alone we worship, you alone we ask for help. This is where we kind of differ. Yeah. We worship God alone, and we ask for help from him alone. Some people go through Prophet Muhammad. Some people go through Jesus. Some people go through Moses. Some people go through Ganesh. Some people go through Ganesh. All, of, all kind of people. Yeah. This is point number two. 
we accept his lordship. We single out God. We say God is the one who controls the heavens and the earth. He doesn't need anybody's help to anything. When we worship God, we single out God. We don't say, oh Muhammad, can you ask God that this? Oh Muhammad, can you help me? No, it's not Jesus. Point number two, last point. Point number three is his names and his attributes. Yeah? We know Allah is Al Jabbar, the most powerful. Yes? Al Quddus, the pure one. Al Rahman, Al Rahim. Yeah? That's his attributes. Why is his attributes? Yeah? The only deceiver here is you. Yeah? That's why you, 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 you can't hold yourself. Yeah? You Mac can't, yeah. No problem. Yes, yes. That, that burning image. Yeah? Uh, <laughs> I'm sorry, you can't hold it. Yeah? So, his lordship, we affirm. We single him out in worship and we affirm his names and attributes. He's the most powerful, the all-knowing. This is Tawheed. What is what what do you have to offer and where are you offering it from? That's what I want to say for this. Okay. So can I uh, uh, let me, can I ask just some questions just in regard to what your, your statement is and I'll go into the Trinity. Yeah, sure. So obviously I asked him about the revelation of Surah al fatihah Now what I've noticed in the Quran, because the Quran says Allah gives clear guidance. So you can have, for example, Al Iram 3.70 where Allah... Oh, you're going to the verse? Okay. Okay. Uh, 3.70 or 70? Al Iram, so 70, 70. Okay. For example, here it will say, O people of the scripture. Yes. Allah is asking a question, yes? Yes. Okay. I'll give you another surah. If you go to 297. No, 2 Al uh, Bak Bakara, 97. 97, yeah? Yeah. For example, it will say, say, Whoever is an enemy to Jibril. Yes. See, that's a threat. So I could recite other verse, but what I'm trying to say is basically when Allah speaks in the Quran, He gives a command. For example, say, or, um, you know. So when we go to Surah Al Baqarah, because you said, if in the name of Allah, most gracious, most merciful, uh, praise be to Allah, the cherisher, most gracious, master of the day. Uh, so my question is because I find that when Allah talks, he gives a very clear command. So when he says, for example, it is you who we worship and you who we ask for help, I have to ask who is Allah talking to? Because Allah is talking in the third person and I cannot see anywhere in this where Allah is giving an instruction for, because this is a citation in your prayer. That you recite it as a prayer. So, how would you then know this is a prayer? Because it seems like Allah is speaking okay. to someone, yeah. but he's, that is other than Himself. Because he, if He's saying, "Guide us to the to the straight path," yeah. it is you who we worship, you who we ask for help. This language seems very inconsistent with the rest of the command. So, how would you explain that? Okay. So basically, what you're saying is, yes, the Surah Fatiha. If if God is the one who's revealing this, yes. who is God talking to? Yes. Okay, so like you said before, he's speaking at the third, uh, uh, third person. Okay. Yeah, okay, so he's saying, he's revealing it to Angel Gabriel. And Angel Gabriel is bringing it to Prophet Muhammad. Yeah? Okay. Okay, so this is not the only thing that we recite. The okay. whole of the Quran we recite. But then where is the instruction for Muslims to, to recite it? And because you do it as a prayer? No, no, no. Because for example, that's why I gave you those two verses, examples no, where... the whole Quran we recite. Okay. The whole of the Quran, okay. like you know in Ramadan, yeah? Yes. So in Ramadan, Usually, the most uh, most they finish the whole Quran off. Okay. Yeah. So they have an aim. We're going to finish the whole Quran off by the end of Ramadan. Yeah. So they recite the whole Quran. They start from uh, Surah Nas uh, to Surah Fatiha, or they start from Surah Fatiha. Yeah. So this is everything that God Almighty has revealed. We recite it. So God Almighty here is telling us what to recite. Yeah. So when He says, but where's in the, the name instruction? Of because, the, okay, like, for example, what I'm trying to say is like the Quran, for example, is like stories as well, like Moses, Bani Israel, and there'll be certain things that are given specifically to the Muslim book, as I gave you the verse where it says, tell the people of the book yes. or whatever. Yes. So then, how is it this verse? It's, it seems because, because, like... Because the Prophet, look, this is the reason why the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam was sent. Because when Aisha and Anha, when they asked her about the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, he said he was the walking Quran. Yeah? Like his actions, his behavior, what he did, it was the Quran. Yeah? So, what he teaches us, like the Prophet, peace be upon him, his appearance, his silence, his orders, um, his, um, this is four or five other stuff, yeah? There's, that's everything that we take from him. So okay. when we say the Prophet was silent, okay, why was he silent? 
we take what do we take from that? His appearance, beard, like you, yeah? Inshallah Allah to Islam. Yeah? You got a beard, yeah? Okay. So the way we use maswak, the way we dress, everything is from the Prophet peace be upon him. So the Prophet peace be upon him is telling us and teaching us to recite this in our prayers. And this is a common thing that's not I don't know, I'm trying to if that makes sense. Yeah, but that's what I'm saying that I it may be a stigma, but Everywhere else it's specific because if Allah, yeah, no, if, if the Quran is eternal, yeah, and Allah is speaking in eternity, and then these are it's been jotted down in yeah. the eternal Quran and then given to the to Muslims because well the, the Quran is the eternal word of Allah, isn't it? Yeah, and then yeah, yeah, exactly, and then it, this was it was also in the eternal tablet, or so maybe not the eternal. Yes. Yeah, but this is eternal the tablet. Right. The this eternal the right. tablet. So yes. It was written yeah. before. So it's also written on the eternal tablet. Yes. Yeah, that's what I mean. So then it obviously it's given to the people yeah. as well. So we see. It's to the people. Yeah, yeah. So we see Allah communicating with people and giving them instructions of what to yes. do and when. Yeah. But then we see, because obviously this is like a prayer that you have to incorporate. Uh, Surah Al Fatih is one of the. Uh, you have. But this one is a must. This is, yeah, this exactly. This, this, is, this is a pillar of yeah. Salah. Yeah, exactly. It's a pillar. With this, there's no Salah. So, but then where do we learn? This is from the within the Quran that this is an instruction for your for it to be the your Prophet pillar. Told us, the Prophet has taught us. has taught us the prayer. So, for example, if one of the pillars of prayer is that you have to stand up. One of the pillars of prayer is that you say Allah Akbar before you start. So, the fight is one of the other pillars. Going into ruku is one of the the, the pillars. Get back up is one of the pillars. Going into Sajda is one of the pillars. Yeah? So these are everything that's taught. That's where the Prophet came into us. Otherwise, the Quran would have been a very long book. That's why when the Quran is revealed, the Prophet, peace be upon him, knows what was revealed and why it was revealed. So that's why when certain people, Christians, come and say, oh, in this Quran it says kill them wherever you find them. Who, who understood it like that? Yeah, but I would say, because from a Christian perspective, yes. for example, like, we, you know, this whole thing about who does Allah pray to, Allah, who Allah suffers. But, yeah, but what I'm trying to say is for a Christian, yeah. This seems as if Allah in eternity is speaking of something other than him. Rather than not saying really, really. rather than giving a command to say, tell the Muslims, as we see in other scriptures, yeah. to say, say, tell the people of the scripture to do this X, Y, and Z. Where it's this seems like everything else. Well, then, then I can say that's like God say to tell himself. Tell the people of the scriptures. In it, can I not say that? If I was going with your argument, yeah, but I'll say, say God is saying, tell the people of the scriptures, who are you talking to? Well, he's obviously he's no, telling no, no, Mohammed. No, 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 no but the thing is, the thing yes. is look, if you go to another verse here, so for example, um, the situation is like that of a man, he's not ordering anything, he's just telling us a story. Yeah, so information. Yeah, but so then, if, if, Surah, if we take Surah Al Fatah as the same as information, then. No, it's, it's, no, it's information. But the thing is, we also recite it, yes. and the information it is information that we're reciting. Yeah, yeah, but then you're reciting what Alice speaks. Yeah. So, yes. so for example, like that whole verse. It's your, you could be reciting information about Bene Israel, yeah. as, uh, about Moses, yeah. that's fine, it's, it's, it's informational yeah. purposes, yeah. So, yeah. You're, so you're learning. But then you're, you're when Allah is saying it is you, if, 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 for example, if I said to you, recite this, and I'm telling you this is how you recite it, then I say... But that's this, the prophet's job. Yeah, but that's what I'm saying, that's why I'm asking, where is the... The, the instruction from Allah that no, this that, is... That, why do you think he sent this prophet? Okay. He sent this prophet for a whole purpose, to tell us this, to tell us what the Surah Fatiha, why we should recite it. Why Surah Fatiha? Why not Surah Ikhlas? Why not Surah Nas? Or Surah Baqarah? Why? So, so, so why Surah Fatiha specifically? Yes. Why Ruku? Why Ruku? Why can't I go like this? Why can't I do this? Why, why do I have to do this? Why? So the thing is, the Prophet he's told us what to do. That's why the Prophet Allah SWT says to obey the messenger. But then how come Allah is not instructing it? But then... I'm, I'm trying, I'm trying yeah. to say how this is called the Tawheed and Trinity. Because right now, you, the argument is yes. that why isn't Allah saying, I order you to recite this? But our argument was, yes. was Trinity and Tawheed. Yeah, because it just seems the language seems that Allah is referred... Because obviously it comes down to the... That, but, but it's just saying to me, like, you're yes. saying, okay, I prefer to. Like if it was that I preferred, but then again, it's not our argument. There's nothing there, mate. Until he's here. As we go on. Okay. But, um, so I'll just go on to, in terms of the, 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 what, the Trinity. So, in terms of the uh, concept of the Trinity, it didn't just come out of thin air. I know that. Um, no, I'm just saying for people to uh, understand it. Because many people think that the Trinity is something that was invented by the Nicene Creed. It wasn't. So it was something that was clarified during the Nicene Creed, but it wasn't taken from Roman paganism, it wasn't taken from the, the Church Fathers didn't invent the concept itself. So we have to look at 
why uh, Christians believe Jesus was God because it wouldn't make sense that they just took Jesus as God because he was doing miracles because Moses did miracles, Elijah did miracles, many prophets did but no one ever took them to be God so we have to ask him was it just miracles that proved that, Jesus, that people assumed Jesus was God or was it something else and also let's for argument say, say that's what some Muslims think but we, Christians also believe the Holy Spirit is God so if you saw someone doing miracles and you assume that's what made them God it wouldn't make sense for you to attribute the Holy Spirit as God as well because you, it would make more sense to be you see someone doing miracles oh, this person must be good God because he's doing all these miracles but then there's a reason as well why they took the Holy Spirit as God so now this is what we where we go through scripture and we will find out because a lot of Muslims they look towards modern day Jews and they say the Jews don't believe it the Jews believe in one God they don't believe in three but that's like a false argument because the modern day Jews follow Maimonides, the 12th century rabbi who defined their articles of faith so we have to ask ourselves what did the actual Jews to the closest time of um, like the first century, the time of Jesus, what did they actually believe? What were the concepts that were flying around? Because again, that's why I say like, if you ask a modern day Orthodox rabbinical Jews, they follow the 13 articles of faith from Maimonides. So we have to say So, so would you say before that, are you telling me that they all started, their monotheism started with this guy? That before that they were closer to um, what you believe? Well, I say that the concept that God was an absolute one was solidified from his teachings. Okay, so, so what did he believe before this? That's, the, that's a good question. So now that's why we will have to look at the earliest... Do you have any evidence that they believe otherwise? Uh, yes. So, yes. So, uh, so David might be here. David is here. Yeah, that's why I wanted to debate him as well. Yeah, yeah. Because there's a lot of things... Because the reason why it's like we believe in the prophets. A prophet's duty was obviously to speak with God and also to tell things from God that will happen in the future. So that was their sign that they were getting inspiration from something outside of God. That's why we have prophecies of the Messiah. The so modern day Jews believe the Messiah is coming, but they don't accept Jesus as the Messiah. But it doesn't make sense because if you want, because Muslims will look at Jews and think, well, the, the Jews will say Jesus, Jesus isn't in the Old Testament. But then Christians will say Jesus is prophesied in the Old Testament. So if you take the Jewish perspective, then you have to throw your Quran in the bin because the Quran says Jesus was the Messiah. Yeah. You understand? It's like, so it's a, it's a contradiction. It's like, you either take their interpretation. The Jews reject Jesus. Yes. Um, uh, Christians reject Muhammad. Yes. Muslims accept all of them. Well, <laughs> some of that. But you, you get my point because if they say no, Jesus isn't prophesied, that's, that's, how do they know the Messiah is going to come? That's what Allah says in the Quran. Okay. Prophet Muhammad, Jesus, Moses. Let's go back to Abraham. What yes. was Abraham? Okay. You so, get it? That's why Allah makes yes. a profound statement. Uh, okay. But can you can you explain? Because I explain the Tawheed. I explain yes. the one so, I, so the, the, can you can you explain, explain what the Trinity, Trinity? Because the thing is, this is where it's, it's the crux of the matter. Yes. And if you can explain it, number one, yes. and number two, we want to go to the sources where we get this from. Okay. And see if it's like. So the concept of the Trinity is you have the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Yeah. Each is a distinct person. So you have one substance, let's call that the divine substance, the, the God substance, so what makes him God? And you have three, so you have three persons, the Father, the Son and the Holy Spirit. So this relates to creation, how um, they came, not into creation, but how they relate to creation. So what we will say there's two aspects of the Trinity. One is their ontological nature, which is the substance, what makes them God. And the second part is their relationship. In, you have the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. So the the Son was eternally uh, eternally begotten through the Father. So the, the Son is not created as a created being, but he coexisted with the Father in eternity. Because if it's like if you have a line, for example, of eternity, and creations after that line, if you say Jesus after that line, he's created. Like we believe because God is eternal. Jesus coexisted in eternity with, with the Father. So we have three persons, Father, Son and the Holy Spirit, one divine essence that they are all able to, they, they're distinct because they can communicate with each other, but they share a divine will. Because if you have, if you have a divine substance, for example, God can only do what is good, for example. 
so they will all agree on what's good. They can't like differ in their opinion because through, through that divine substance, they, they're always in agreement. It's like, if God knows always the right answer, then they all, work, all know the right answer. That's why we say they share a divine will because like because Muslims say well you have three gods but three gods would mean they will always they might dis disagree have infighting but if you're perfect for example you'd always have the perfect answer so that's why they will we, we will say they have share one will because they always agree on what is the best thing to do so they don't like disagree on on things yeah okay so now let's let's let's, let's examine I want you to examine the Tawheed yes. and I want I'm going to examine the Trinity yeah okay I want you to tell me the problems with Tawheed Yes. And I'm going to say that I find problematic, for example, the Trinity. Yeah? Okay. So, for example, let's start off with something uh, more natural, uh, innate. So, let's say we have a little child. Yeah? Do I have to teach that child that their God exists? Yeah, you should. No, no, no. Do I have to? No. Okay, would that child grow up realizing that there's an ultimate higher power? I believe we. I mean, I've read, I can't quote it, but I've read articles yeah. or come across articles where scientists will agree that humans are born with this innate desire to ascertain who God is. Like, it's just something that's a natural inclination. That's why you have a lot of, like, pretty much you go wherever and people are worshipping some sort of deity okay. because that's an, a natural inclination. Innate, innate, yes. Yeah, yeah. Was, you, was you born as a Christian in Canada? Yes. Okay, so was you taught from day one? Yes. Okay, so I can't really ask this question. Okay. Me, I wasn't. Yeah, I wasn't taught about it. Yeah. So now, a lot of children, even I, I know, that there was a recent study done at Cambridge University where they, uh, they said that children are born innate with this thing of turning to a higher being. Yeah? Would I, if this child grew up, I don't need to go and tell him Anything, I mean, very, like something that will make a paradigm shift about God to him. I don't need to say anything really major to him. Maybe I have to tell him about Prophet Muhammad. But do you see that you have to teach him Jesus is divine? That you will have to go and tell him, look, we believe in God also, but Jesus. I actually, I actually, I actually done a recent uh, reaction video to this. There was a child who was reading a book here, yeah? and then she was reading and she goes. Uh, and then Jesus got to know about himself. And she looked at the camera. She made a face and went, oh, Jesus was God. Now, can we agree that you would have to go and teach this child that Jesus is God? I don't need to teach this child anything because she's on the picture, the innate disposition that I'm on, I'm already on. Yeah? So, do you see the problem from an angle of something that's innate that Buddha, I'm talking about my Ganesh, Jesus, all of these other gods yes. have to be taught to a child. Yeah. But in Islam, I don't need to tell her about anything about the Prophet. I'm just going to say the Prophet is Messenger. But to God, I don't need to see anything. Do you not see that something that's like a seed that's planted, that's, that's, that's planted to every single one of us? That's why we believe every child is born of us. But then, you're, I think you're, con so you're trying to say that the child knows there's a creator, yes, I agree. But then, do they know that creator is Allah? Ah, so, no, That's the difference, yes. But, but the issue here is this, yeah? If that child lived their life, yes. believing in God, yes. and they did not know about Islam, they would not go help. But to your belief, Say that again, if they... If they live their life, yes. believe, believing in God, yes. yeah? Sorry, Coco. If they believed in God, and they did not hear about Islam, yes. To our beliefs, yes. that person has a possibility of going paradise because they'll be tested on the day of judgment because Islam didn't reach them. But this is one of my problems with the Trinity, I'm saying. But okay. you have to, because well, if that child doesn't, you have to teach that child that Jesus is divine well, and the Holy Spirit. I don't need to. So I think without going into that point about hellfire, because I, I think there's enough uh, Islamic literature to say that that obviously is not a guarantee that children will be will go to heaven they can be designated to hell no, there's hadith no, no, no. do you want me to <laughs> okay because it, it, obviously that's a that's more of a matter of salvation there's, than three, it's there's three people that are the excuse yeah the one who hasn't reached the age of puberty child yeah. somebody that's not mentally stable and someone that's sleeping okay because because they they're, they're not here they're in salvation they're not here so my, my, since you're after you, while you're looking at that, yeah. so my argument with the Trinity, the problem that I have with the Trinity is that yeah, because it, with children, yeah. I don't need to come and teach them nothing about anything. 
because they have this innate disposition of there's a high intelligence and God exists and God is not within the creation. However, all the other religions have to come and say, no, 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 it's Ganesh. Ganesh is your God. No, 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 it's Jesus is your God. Do you get it? So this is one of arguments that's problematic with the, 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 the Trinity. Uh, that's what I was trying to come. That's one of my points. So in the, in the meantime, looking at the person about uh, kids ending up in hell. Yeah, because I mean, that, it's, it's, it's an issue of salvation. Yeah, I've, I've, never, I've, never, I've never heard of it. That children go to hell? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Have a, have a oh, stay, 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 stay. Don't, don't go there. Oh, no, no. In the meantime, guys, uh, my marriage documentary will be coming out soon. Uh, I've been working really hard. Uh, but trust me, it's coming out in parts, part one. I'm going to release a little preview. Yeah, okay, do a little add here. I'm going to release a little preview, but it's going to be good, inshallah. It's good. You guys are going to benefit. It's going to be, it's going to be worth it, inshallah. And when you guys get married, you call me to your walima, inshallah. Uh, I'll be the witness. <laughs> Islam, Allah says okay. that we do not punish a nation until we've sent a message. Okay, so this is right, Sunan Ibn Majah, Sahih. Okay, Sunan Ibn Majah, there's, there's some... Yes, good fact, Sahih. Sahih, that there are selling. Okay, read it, we're going to check it. So it says, the, the, it was narrated that Aisha, the mother of believers, said, the messenger of Allah was called to the funeral of a child from amongst the Ansar. I said, O messenger of Allah, glad tidings for him. He is one of the little birds of paradise who never did evil or reached the age of doing evil, i.e. the age of accountability. He said, it may not be so for I, O Aisha, for Allah created people for paradise. He created them for it when they were still in their father's loins and he has created people for hell he created uh, the, them for when they were still in their father's loins so what does it say go in hell so the, so this is saying on, she's saying a, a baby a baby where, 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 has where went to hell it says that he is one of the little birds of paradise yes. he's going to go to paradise yes but then it says oh oh aisha for allah created people for paradise yeah. So let me go yeah. back a bit more. So she assumed the baby was going to paradise. No, not baby, it's a child number one. Yeah, it says the messenger of Allah, yes. Allah was yeah, really, called really, really to the funeral it's of a child, child yeah. from amongst the Ansar. Yeah. Obviously the Ansar were like the good Muslims, yeah, yeah, the friends yeah, yeah, yeah. of Muslims. Yeah. So he said, I said, O messenger of Allah, glad tidings for him. He is one of the little birds of paradise who yes. never did evil or reached the age of doing evil. Yes. Uh, yes, so he said it may. He said it may not be so. Oh, okay, it might not be so. Yes. Okay, so point number one, what yes. we need to do is child. Yeah. Yes. So, for example, how old was he? It's a child. Yeah. No, no, no. Because the thing is, when uh, the Banu uh, Quraida, when they betrayed the Prophet peace be upon him, yes. he uh, he uh, killed all of them. Yeah, look, because of their treaty. Yeah, but look, it says. Them. No, no, who, I know, I know. Who never no. did evil no, or no, no, reached no, the no. age of no, no, doing no. But evil. But the Prophet is saying that might not be so, number one. Yes. He's never said he's going to hell. He said that might yeah, not exactly. be so. We so, don't, yes. so, so, so Allah, 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 yes. Allah knows best, yeah? Yes. But number, 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 number two, so like number two, two number two is that a child, what do we define as a child? Because we believe, yes. for example, after a certain age, yeah, we might call a child. We call 14, 15 year olds a child. Yeah, exactly. So it does not say that he's going to hell. And number two, number two, I need to check the authenticity of the Okay. Because we know very clearly maybe, a maybe person. Yeah, yeah, not even then, even then. It's like he said we that babies are guaranteed heaven. No, 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 no. That hadith is essentially no, saying no, that no, 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 no. he might not go. No, 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 no. That's, that's yeah. his point. No, no, no. Like I said to you, he's not saying like all babies are guaranteed Okay, and I've got something else. He hasn't else. committed any sins. Do, do you know Shakes Bilal Phillips? Yes. All right, this is what he said if people can hear. Okay. The fact of the matter is that when Aisha radiallahu anha. Is he calling the same hadith? Mentioned regarding one of the children of the Ansar who had died. That to Prophet Muhammad, she mentioned, oh, he is okay. among the children of paradise. Prophet said, no, you can't say that. Though it's common amongst Muslims, we all generally understand that if a baby dies, the baby is going to paradise. But this is not true. This is not true. Okay. It's not true. Instead, Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu gave us important... Yes. 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 But, but, yeah. so, yeah, but, yeah, no, but No, but what he... If you, if you watch it... Yeah, but in this lecture, he addresses that question and he okay. says, 
children are not guaranteed to go to heaven. No, 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 but you're missing the point. That's, yeah, maybe. that's what the point no, I was making. Absolutely. Someone who hasn't reached the age of 18. Yeah, exactly. So a baby that dies is not guaranteed to be a child of paradise. Hear me out. A person who hasn't reached the age of puberty, yes. a person that's not mentally stable, and a person that's sleeping, uh, the pen is lifted from them. What does that mean? The pen that writes down your evil deeds and your good deeds. Yeah? So a child, if she dies as a baby, yes. yeah, God can not God can do this. No hell, no paradise. You are, you don't you cease to exist. Or what I heard was it goes paradise. Yeah? So now what you brought to me, I need to check it up. Because okay, okay. either either they go to paradise. There is no way that, for example, as far as I know, that they go paradise. Because what Allah's uh, what uh, the Prophet is saying is that we don't know. And this is the same with a Muslim. If a Muslim dies, we don't say He's going paradise. Nobody can say that. Yes, oh. but yeah, yeah, but, but you know that's what? what I'm saying. You know, a child, because no, no, no. the age of accountability means we're all guilty for, of our sins. So no, 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 it, no, 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 no. That in Christianity, for example, you say if a child dies, it will go to heaven because no, 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 reach no, no, that no. age of accountability. No, 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 but he, you don't that have that Sheikh Bilal, you know, in Christianity, you have that. This is Islam. In Christianity, <laughs> Bilal, in, in Christianity because no, Jesus said, says we should become like the children, he, innocent he, like the children. So no, 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 still you cannot say. No one did the Prophet say that he's going hell or heaven. He said you cannot say. Where he's going, you don't know where but he's going. I've given, even the Sheikh confirms it. That's what I'm saying. No, That's why I played it. Confirms what? He, he said, said you cannot say. That no, 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 no. You cannot say. <laughs> you cannot say that it goes paradise. We say that. We say that. We say no, no, no. We say no, no. Because it was a bit low. I heard it. I heard it. He said you cannot say that the babies can go paradise. Didn't he say that? Oh, you said that they're not guaranteed. Yeah, they're not guaranteed to go to paradise. paradise. Okay. Yes. So what that means is, I can't go. Anyone that's the most righteous person, I can't say he's going to paradise. I don't so know. He's attracted to his foot. But um, then, if if you're a child, you should, and you don't reach a cage of age God, of accountability. God, look, look, this is what I'm saying. The it's argument like, here is this. They're yeah. not saying it's like. Yes. He either goes paradise, or he doesn't go anywhere. God will not put him in hell. You would have to show me something no, that no, says. No, 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 it's, yeah, it's, it's, yeah, it's very simple. Allah doesn't, yeah. Allah doesn't punish anyone. Yeah, but that's anyone. conjecture and I'll, I'll no, challenge no, no, you on that point to show me. It's yeah, not conjecture. I've yeah, given, yeah, 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 yeah. at least no, no, given no, you a hadith. No, you have to show me something to say. Be fair, be fair, Bora. Because I'm bringing evidence to at least make my claim. Anyone can say, oh, it's not guaranteed. Let's see the evidence. No, 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 but what he's saying there is you cannot say he's going hell or heaven. Yeah, but you said that I would go to paradise or nowhere. But I'm saying back that claim. I should have was saying he's going Paradise. Yes, and the process that's of what said, we should logically cannot, assume cannot, because the child hasn't been no, old no, enough to make. Not, we're not yes. talking about a baby. We're talking about a child. Yes, you know, different. There's difference. Yeah, there's a baby and there's a child. Yeah, a child. Yes, yes. there is What's children. The no, of course, there's difference. There's children who have killed people. But this is yeah. yeah? But she said the child hadn't reached the age of accountability. He was still too young okay, to have reached that age of. Okay, this is what we need to find out. Yes, what we need to find out. Yeah. Okay, you want a hadith for me about? Because for me that doesn't seem like merciful because you say Allah is the most merciful. Yes, 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 yes. So that's why this is yes, yes, I yes, had yes, to yes, bring you up yes, on that yes, because yes, I don't yes, see yes. that as a merciful act. There's more there's 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 more women than men, 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 men doesn't mean that women are going there. There might be yeah, more there yeah, might be yeah, more women created than men. Yeah, but why are the women in hellfire? That's the point. No, no, why, why not? Why, 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 would they, why would there be women not in hellfire? Why are they explicit? Is it, is well, the feminists running the place? Well, because they're way... <laughs> well, the prophet said because they're ungrateful to their husbands. Yes, well, this is the... That's, this, that's the justification. No, 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 no. that's not the justification. So it's not just, idea, oh, I've just been bad. Full of, full of women, no, no, it's full no, of women no. because they are no. unjust to their husbands. No, yeah, well, if they, if they, if their husband's going out and working and they are, you know, sleeping around or so, when it comes in... It, it, so there is on. more women in hell than men? Yes. Oh, okay. Good. Yeah, yeah, of course. There's more because there's more women that exist than men. That's why you can marry more, more than one. Just because, well done, just because. Well done, well done, well done. At least you should say, good. We have to say, we Respect, respect. Maybe, well, okay. Okay, first is the, uh, second is the fate. Okay, first is the fate of the children of the Muslims. Second is the fate of the children of the Kufar. With regard to the first part, the fate of the children of the Muslims. Ibn Kathir, may Allah have mercy on him, said, with regard to the children of the believers, there is no dispute among the scholars of Al-Qadi, Abu Yalilan, Ibn Al-Fara, Al-Anbali, narrated that Imam Ahmed said, there is no dispute concerning the fact um, that they will be among the people of paradise. Yeah, so they're saying that the Muslim children. From okay, Muslim, Muslim children. This is well known among the people. Majority of the scholars. Yeah, say, say it again. Sorry. And this is what are definitely sure about in Shaykh. Shaykh source as well. Tafsir, Tafsir, Tafsir Quran al Aziz. Tafsir al Quran. Imam Ahmed, may Allah have mentioned, said, who has any doubts that. 
that the children of Muslims will be in paradise. He also said there is no difference among them on this matter. In Hashir ibn Al-Qayyim al-Sunan Abi Dawud. Imam al-Nawawi said, the reliable Muslim scholars agree that any Muslim child who dies will be among the people of paradise because he was not responsible, i.e. had not yet reached the age of account. This is Shah Muslim, chapter 16, verse 207. Al-Qurtubi said, the view that they will be in paradise is the view of the majority. Yeah. So basically, there are, there are some scholars that come and said no. The okay. majority of the scholars say that they will be in paradise is the view of the majority. And some scholars denounce any dispute concerning them. So I think they were neutral. We don't know where so they So then there's a dispute within... No, Islam. there is. There is. But there, this, with so, Islam, there's yes. a lot to look. There's a majority opinion, and okay. then, then you have this fringe. And these are the fringe that these ISIS so combats go to. A lot of time. There is no guarantee heaven. There's a child that... No, no, no. There is. There is. There is. There is. Even you, uh, there's, there's a verse. Thank you, Ali. With regard to the second part, the fate of the children of the Quran, the non-Muslims, the scholars differ on this matter, and there are several views. That they will be in paradise, some of them said, they will be in Al-Araf, a place between paradise and hell. Yeah, so no punishment, no thing, yeah? This is for the uh, non-Muslims, yeah? Okay, and the reason why it was said that they will be in the paradise is because this is ultimately the destiny of the people of Al-Araf. Okay, so what the scholars have said is there's a specific place between paradise and hell. It's okay. called Al-Araf, Al yeah? And even that, that, there's evidence that those people who are in the middle are eventually going to end up in paradise. Okay. That's why they're saying so that... So what is the source for that place? Is it from... It, Al-Araf, this is the view of the majority of scholars. So it's not even from the Prophet? Ibn Abd al-Bar, no, anything is from the Prophet. We don't take it anywhere. Yeah, but they're, from here, what they're saying, uh, they're saying it's the scholars, but is there a quote like from the... From Muhammad saying that there's a next okay, place. Let's see, let's see. Let's look, said, because it seems uh, like Ibn they're, Abdul they're Abar, in, uh, Ibn Abdul Al-Bar in Al-Tahid, chapter 18, verse 96. It is a good source, okay. yeah? The evidence is this. This is the evidence that you asked. Yeah? The hadith of Samura, Sam Samura, may Allah be pleased with him, that the Prophet, peace and blessing of Allah be upon him, saw the children of the Muslims and the children of the Mushrikeen. Okay, this is interesting. Of Ibrahim, with Ibrahim. Okay, this is interesting. So the Prophet said he saw the children of the Mushrikeen, the polytheists, okay. and the children uh, of the Muslims um, with, with Prophet Ibrahim. So Prophet Ibrahim is in paradise. So okay. it's not going to be held. So this is the evidence that the Prophet is narrated in Al Bukhari, chapter 6, 6640. Yeah? Okay. Husnat bint Muawiyah from Bani Surayim said, my paternal uncle told me, I said, Oh, Messenger of Allah, who will be in paradise? He said, Prophets will be in paradise, martyrs will be in paradise, infants will be in paradise, and baby girls who were buried, buried alive will be in paradise. Yeah. This is another thing. You know why? Because that's another evidence. Because but then the it's not. Sorry. Yeah. Someone wants my attention. Come, where you going? Have to come. Where's he going? Okay, he's gone. Okay, so basically, at the time of the Prophet this is one of the beauties of Islam. They used to bury their daughters alive. Did you know that? No. They, they, they oh, used yeah, yeah, to, yeah, the pagan yeah, yeah. Arabs, yeah? yeah? They used to bury their daughters okay, alive, yeah? yeah? Uh, and what did they do, yeah? So the thing is, the Prophet said that they will be, and they will, who did they belong to? Polytheists. Okay. Yeah? Okay, at least you guys, the people that you're close to, yeah? Okay. okay. We're talking about polytheists. That we both have a problem with, yeah? That they will be in paradise. So if they're in paradise, then I don't, how is your children going to end up in uh, thing? Okay, narrated by Imam Ahmed. Uh, okay, okay, this, 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 this is weak, I think. Okay, well, so I just quoted now. So that, it's weak. weak. Okay. Okay. So that one's gone. Okay. That one so is kind of gone. Okay. That they will be with their parents in, okay, that they will be parents in their health. And Qadi Abu Yala attributed this view to Ahmed. But Sheikh Alessandro and Taymiyyah pointed out that this was a grave error. So it's one of the scholars in Islam said this, but Ibn Taymiyyah, who we know okay. is senior okay. scholar, he said this is wrong. Okay. So okay, in they summary, be, what yeah. what are you? In summary, what, yes. in summary, from what we know, in, okay. I'm sure many hadiths okay. is that a child who yes. has reached the age of puberty, a mentally ill person, is that we believe that they will be tested on the day of judgment. God's going to test them okay. because they will not. They, they, they didn't have the choice because they were a child or they were not insane. They were, okay. they were insane. So that's the reason why sometimes we say, okay, the pen is different from this person. Why? Because okay. acting a bit crazy. Yeah? Okay. He will be tested on the day of judgment. Okay. God will order <coughs> them to jump in the fire. Okay. And the fire will be paradise. And God will tell one to enter paradise, but paradise will be hellfire. Okay. So this is the test that God's going to give them. Yeah? Okay. So in a nutshell, I'm very, very sure. I'll go and double check that. What you quote, I'll check if that's authentic as well. I'm very sure because, again, like I said before, how is Allah the most merciful, very merciful okay. if He's going to throw children in fire? Yeah? So I'm sure that's the case. Well, even from what you said. Okay, if it, 
yeah, 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 yeah. I know. I know. Okay. It's been, it's been... Yeah, we've gone off t topic <laughs> from the Trinity. Yeah, so yeah, yeah, we'll yeah. discuss this one next week. But let's go back to the, the, the so, Trinity. So, so, so the Trinity. So, so that was a yeah, so point of salvation. Trinity is that one of the problems I had with the Trinity is that a child. I don't need to go to a child and start telling them about because he's on what I'm on. He believes there's God. You get what I'm trying to say? Okay. The other issue with the Trinity is that a lot of pe people have a problem with, is what I have a problem with as well, is that like I said to you before, yeah, you're getting this notion because, look, Noah, Noah, Noah yeah, did Noah tre uh, teach Trinity? He would have. He didn't teach it, he didn't teach anything. Okay, did he, did he believe in the Trinity? Yes. He believed in the Trinity? Yes. Where's your book? I'll give you evidence from Abraham because we have evidence in the Bible okay. about Abraham. You need to first so, show me so basically, just to kind of uh, speed it up. So basically, all I have to show, because I said to you, we'll show the Trinity from the from the Scripture, right? So, but is the Scripture the Word of God? Before I take anything, yeah, but we're going we're going off now because we'll, this, we'll, this, we'll this, this conversation will go this, on for this, no, a long this, time. This, this connects. This connects. Yeah. yeah because look, the thing is, if, okay. look, look, anything that I, you argue with the Quran, yes. same the principles with the Quran. Yeah. This, is it? This need, is from the Torah. Yes. No, no, no. This we need to establish okay. that the Quran is the word of God and okay. the Bible is the word of God in order for us to go to text. Because okay. otherwise, well, me quoting to you, well, well, me quoting to you, this it's it's, it's not. Yeah, but the but the thing is, we can discuss the authenticity no, no, another that's, time. That's, no, no, but I'm I'm showing you from the scripture that I'm reading. Okay, Whether you don't have to agree with it, it's, it's, it's legitimate or not okay. because we could have done that before but because we talked about babies and whatever we're going to go on for too long so let's just say can a Christian prove from the scripture that there is a personhood in the scripture that we and the Christians believe so we believe the name the divine name of God is Yahweh and if I go to uh, Genesis 18 you have the Bible up or do me, I can show you from my phone I've got an app it does work okay so if I go to Genesis 18, yeah. 1, it says, and the Lord, so when it's in capitals, yeah. this is using a divine name. Okay. So it says, and the Lord appeared unto Mo, um, Abraham yeah. in the plains of Mamre, and he sat in the tent door in the heat of the day. So, and it says, he lifted up his eyes and looked, and lo, three men stood by him yeah. when he saw them. So basically, this is a story of Abraham just before uh, the um, destruction of Sodom and Gomorrah. Yeah. Three, three men, or three angels appeared to Abraham. Okay. And one of them was God, right? Yeah. So then, I mean, so then what happens is uh, the, uh, the story continues. They kind, of, they kind of eat with Abraham, okay. and two of the angels go to to, to get Lot to rescue him because they're going to destroy Sodom and Gomorrah. Okay. So that's I think you have a similar story. The two yeah. angels went, and then people were trying to beat down his door or yeah. whatever. So basically, what, what what we see happening is if we go to Genesis 19:24, this is just before the destruction of. Um, Sodom and Gomorrah <laughs> so two angels have gone to Sodom and Gomorrah yes. and the third person is still around yes. right then it says and then the Lord rained down Sodom and Gomorrah brimstone and fire from the Lord part of heaven now if uh, God was a Unitarian a singular this wouldn't make sense because it's showing God is in two places and I'll show you another verse just to confirm it. This is why Christians understand okay. that there's a... Okay, finish. And we want to know who understood this verse like that. Yeah, well. that's fine. Yes. So if I go to, where is it, Amos? Because you could say, I don't know, someone could say, well, maybe they just a scribal error. No, or no, something no, no, no. Like we need to know who understood yeah. it like that. So it says, Amos 4, it's talking about the same situation. It says, I, because God is speaking, it says, I have overthrown some of you as God overthrew Sodom and Gomorrah and ye were as a firebrand plucked out of burning, yet ye have not returned unto me, saith the Lord. So that's the divine name when it's in capitals. But it's referring to God overthrowing Sodom and Gomorrah. Okay. Now it would seem very strange yeah. that God is speaking and saying there was another okay. that overthrew Sodom and Gomorrah. But when we go into uh, um, Genesis, the, the verse I showed you before, yes. it's still showing you that there was a distinction okay. in two Yahwehs. Okay. So this is where we see the concept of uh, a distinction in the nature of God. Okay, the, that's, that's, yes. that's, 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 that's debatable. Yes. Because right now, okay, but what I was asking you is very simple. The yeah? earliest classical sources. Yeah, yeah, it is, but first we need to, which scholars understood it the way you understand it? Yes. Number two, did, where, where is your evidence that all these prophets that came, yes. that support our narrative of worshiping God and God alone, okay. where did they preach the Trinity? They didn't need to. Okay. I'll tell you why. Okay, okay, are you first acknowledging that they didn't, and you're going to tell me why they didn't? Yes. Okay, so, okay. So, before the incarnation, yeah. As we go by um, 
that even the Shema Israel, hear O Israel, your Lord God is one. Yes. Obviously, in the Hebrew, it's not got that your is like the, I don't know what you call it, like the is, is one. Yeah. So it's just more of the, the I don't know what you call it. Come on, come on. But it, it basically reads as, uh, O Israel, Yahweh Elihanu, Yahweh one. That's what it says. So it basically says, Yahweh, our God, Yahweh one. So it can be taken as uh, your uh, that, or you can read into it. Well, because we don't have the yeah? the because because it is, it is because when written in English, you don't have like the your Lord. Of course, of course. It, so, but, 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 so, yes. Yeah. So so it can also be interpreted as uh, your, your, your Lord God is one. Is yes, and ahad can mean unity of one because you have wahid, which is a singular one. Ahad can mean like one or a united one. So now we have to understand was God talking about a singular one yeah. or a united one? Okay, right. Then, then, then the thing is, this issue of united one, yeah? yes. there can be multiple. I cannot, I cannot stop at Jesus and the uh, Holy Spirit. I can carry on, yeah? Yes. So the issue is, what I'm saying is, is there any clear cut yes. worship and uh, acknowledgement of the previous prophets yes. of the Trinity, yes. of Jesus being divine and the Holy Spirit? Okay, so. In before the incarnation, so before the incarnation, the name that was revealed to Moses was Yahweh. So any divine presence that came down was called divine, was called Yahweh. It wasn't called Jesus because Jesus only came, the name came, or Yeshua, was when he was born. Okay. So if let's say you have the Trinity, yeah. and let's just say the pre-incarnate Jesus came down, he would have been called Yahweh. Yeah. Let's say if the Father came down, he would be called, he would be called Yahweh too. Okay or the Holy Spirit can be called Yahweh because there wasn't a proper distinction. So even if we go to Genesis 1... Okay, but is there, was there anyone explicitly no. worshipping the Father, the Son and the Holy Spirit? Well, they were, because because this has to be, look, this is something. Yes. Tawheed, oneness of God, yes. has been there from day one. Okay. We haven't budged. Okay. There has not been a single movement. Okay. Now all the prophets that come with acknowledge, all of them come with worship God alone. Okay. Yeah? So the thing is, it's the same, if the Trinity yes. is from God and it's divine, it should be there from day one. If it's not, the question that needs to be better to ask is, why? What changed? What changed that the Father, the Son and the Holy Spirit was born? So from the beginning, like literally. For, for example, if I go to Genesis, it says, in the beginning was, in the beginning God created the heaven and the earth. Yes. And the earth was without form and void, and the darkness was upon the face of the the, and the Spirit of God moved upon the face of the waters. Yes. So this is the creation story. And yes. we see the Spirit of God but that was there. Himself. He's talking about, it doesn't need to be another... Yeah, that, that's fine. I'll, 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 I'll go into it, but that's fine. But we, Because I can explain why the Spirit of God was distinct for other verses. But we see that it was God and the Spirit of God. Even if you say it was God himself. But we see that the Spirit of God was was there from the beginning so we no, I, no, no, but you're reading into it no but i'm i'm going to okay, give go i'm going to go into other texts okay, go we can for now just say if it's one but then i'll have to prove that this spirit of god was distinct otherwise we can take your interpretation okay. do you get what i'm saying yeah then again it can be the spirit of god can be yes. an angel that's created by god no because this was the spirit of god but god 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 can create souls this is the soul of God. You can understand it as the soul of God yes. or a soul that belongs to God. Yeah, but when you look yeah? at it... Can I not read that into it? No, because it's saying Why in the beginning, yeah. the beginning of God time, created creation, and, earth. and the spirit was already there. That's what it's saying. No, I know, but God, God, what I'm trying to say... So is an angel can't, is created, so it can't be there in the beginning. No, no, but still, you can read it as the spirit of God, yes. the spirit of God, yes. or the spirit that belongs to God. It's of God. Do you get it? I can read it like that. Yeah, but if it's, if it's a, that belongs to God... It's yeah, but if it belongs to God, it means it's created. Yes. So it can't exist before creation. No, it can. Why not? Because creation, everything comes was, was into angels, existence. Was angels created before or the, the universe? The universe was created. Well, That's why it says in the, the angels, beginning, really? God created the heavens where the angels in the heavens. The ends. But the angels, and the earth. Were, were the angels created before or after the heavens? Because think about it. Yes. They were created at the same time. So no, because no, no. angels, okay, okay. angels can't exist before creation. Why not? Because creation is cr God's creation. No, that no, means no, anything no, no, created. No, I'm talking about no, no, no. I'm yes. talking about because only God creation, is creation. I'm talking about the universe. Yes. Yeah. Okay. That's good. He's right. I agree with him. God is yes. created. Yeah. Only him. Only him. Yeah. Only him. Only. Yeah, I'm with you. 100. Then why do you say angels are uncreated as well? No, I That's a yeah. contradiction, no, right? No, no, no. I never said that. I said <laughs> that the angels were created first or the universe. 
Like you know you said that God created the, the Genesis 1-1? Yes. So was the angels created first or the, uh, the universe? Well, when he says he created the heavens, that means the heavens and everything in it. Well, just because you read one passage. Well, obviously, it's logically we use our mind to say if God creates the heavens. The heavens and the earth. Well, yeah. well, we, it can be. well, we use our logic to say, to no, understand the verse. Come on, man. Because there's no one, I, I no, but there's no one that will say that the he, the angels were created before the heavens. Where are you going to put the angels? No, it can't be. No, you're missing the point. You're, then you're saying the only place the angels can be living is in in the, in, um, the universe. It doesn't have to be outside the universe. We know angels are outside the universe. Yeah, but they can't be out place outside of place. No, 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 no. Only no, God no, is out no, place. I'm not, I'm not, I'm not saying there was like emptiness. They had a dwelling place. So yeah. where would they be before be creation? Paradise. Where? Paradise. No, but before paradise, where would they be before paradise? I don't know. But would they exist? Would they them? exist? Maybe, yeah. How? Explain how. If God exists, if God exists and He's created angels, yeah. What, for me to think that they have to have a little house, angels need a house, would be unfair. Sorry, so I'm trying to wrap up. So, okay. so you're telling me angels can be where God is, or no, 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 even no, if He's no, out of no, place. They don't know where God is, but they can be a place. They don't need to have like a house built. For them. Like, oh, here goes. There's your house. So, yeah. so when where where were they created? Where were, where were I, this created? I, that's what we're trying to come to. That's I'm just yeah. asking. I'm big. And I'm, 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 I'm yours, yeah? Okay. All the prophets that came that we both believe in, believe in, yeah? Okay. Did any of them... Yes. They didn't need to preach the Okay, Trinity. so if you accept that, then it comes back to my point is this. All these prophets, we believe in thousands, you believe in probably hundreds, or maybe 20, 30, I don't know. All of them preached and believed in what we believe. What is that? The worship of God alone, yeah? So the question that I ask you, that's why if we go back to scripture, okay. because it's the scripture that's different everything. Okay. Either the Quran is not from God, okay. or the Bible is not from God. All right. So, you get it? so, so it, this is, this let, is let me just cut your bit, because to make it easier, yeah. I'm going to give you a quote yeah. from a, Jew, a Jewish scholar, right? I don't know who he is. You can, everyone can search him. His name's Benjamin Summer. Okay. He teaches at one of the, the leading Jewish seminaries. That's why I wanted to debate your friend, because this is what he says. He says, some Jews regard Christians' claim to be a monotheistic religion with grave suspicion. Both because of the doctrine of the Trinity, how can three be equal to one, and because of Christians' core belief that God took bodily form. And he says, no Jew sensitive to Judaism's own classical sources, however, can find, can find fault with the theological model Christianity employs when it avows a belief in a God who has an earthly body as well as a Holy Spirit and a heavenly manifestation. For that model, we have seen is a perfectly Jewish one. And I will challenge anyone, that's why I wanted to get your Jewish friends, to find, to find me any scholar, not Rabbi Singer, who makes up his own opinions, but a qualified um, Jewish scholar that says Christianity's core beliefs are at odds or not consistent with the classical sources. Of, of of Jewish sources because okay. what they say he's saying okay. is he's gone into the classical sources not Maimonides not rabbinical Judaism of today but the very earliest sources of Judaism and concluded what the, the Trinity what does he believe he, he's a Jew so but he he rejects Jesus on a different okay so does he believe Jesus is divine he doesn't no, he, as a Jew, he doesn't accept okay, Jesus so, as the so, Messiah so then, because it comes that there's so two is different he, is things. Is he saying that there's a possibility that you can read it like that? He's saying it's consistent <laughs> with. So what he's so saying is consistent. Then why is he being inconsistent? Because he doesn't have to accept Jesus. Because remember, they believe the Messiah is going to fill, fulfill certain criteria. So he can reject Jesus as the Messiah. So why does he accept that? Why doesn't he? Because he doesn't have to believe Jesus is the Messiah. So why doesn't he accept then? Okay, there's a possibility that God can come to Earth and dwell with us. But he's, yeah, he's, he's saying it's because he's, he's, he's trying to say there's consistency, but yes. then he's been inconsistent. With it. No, but remember, a belief is different from what he's saying. The theology of Christianity. I'll, 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 I'll check and, it up. Yeah, but, and I'll, but, I'll give you his name. But, but, his name is Donald Summer. Donald yes, Donald yes. Donald and he's a scholar, and he's at, a scholar at one of the best Jewish seminaries. No and that's why I wanted to have a debate with no your problem, Jewish no friend. I'll, I'll, I'll look, I'll look yes. into that, yeah? Because but, this is, yes. Yeah, coming back to it, what I need to do is, I need to know, is, is, the, is the Bible the yes. word of God? But now we're jumping because we, no, we're not jumping. Because we said about the Trinity. No, 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 but this, this, is, not, this, is, this is not an argument. Okay, okay we'll do because, that. Because there's no point in talking about yes. it. That's what I said to you, yeah? yeah. There's no point in talking about the Tawheed and Trinity. Yes. Because all we have to go back to our scriptures. If the scriptures are flawed, yes. yeah? Hey, but you need to, this is what I need to ask you. Yeah, yeah. 
the scriptures are corrupted. Uh, okay. Anything that you bring to me, yeah. anything that I bring to you, yes. it can look beautiful. Yeah, but it doesn't. But the, the point is, yeah? can I justify my faith from the scripture I have? This you understand? Is, Whether it's legitimate or not, that's uh, another. That's a. That's when when the when we're discussing, I has the. I'm telling you, the Quran. It's the yes. Quran is corrupted. Yes. I can't justify nothing to you. Okay. Nothing, zero. Because, because the thing is, how am I going to come and tell you? Yes. Here's, here's corruption. Yes. But I be, I believe in it because. But, but that's that, that's 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 a red herring. I'll tell you huh? why. I'll tell you that's a red herring point. Because yeah, let's say for argument's sake, just for argument's sake, the the, the scripture is corrupt. Yes. But that doesn't have anything to do with whether I can just justify my belief based on what is in the book. Okay. Do you how, understand? How did you come to, to your belief? In what sense? How did you come to find out Jesus died for your sins and evil? Well, let me just ask you... Where, where, do you, where, do you, where but, did you have a revelation? Yeah, but let me just ask you this question, for example. Because you believe in Tawheed. Yes. Yeah. And Allah is one. Yeah. Yes? So, but you believe, for example, Allah has a face. Yeah. Allah has a shin. Two hands. Allah has two, two right hands. Two right hands. Yes? So now, if we think about it logically, according to science, yes, you have something called the uh, uh, space-time continuum. That means matter, um, space, and um, matter, space, and time came into existence all at the same time. For example, if you have uh, matter and time, you need somewhere to put it. Yes, and if you have um, so yeah, if you have matter and space, you need, you need a when. When did it come into existence? Okay. So if Allah has two right hands, a face, a shin, this is, it means that Allah, Allah's, it means Allah's, it, it, means, it means Allah's two right hands can be distinguished from his face. Because how can because how can you say someone has a face and two right hands if they're not distinguished? Because the, 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 the flaw that you're making is this, yeah? Okay. We are told that Isa commits the Yishay, wa huwa Sami, wa Yeah? Yes. There is nothing like him. This is what That's they would try to use. Though. No, you're missing the point. Yes. God, yes. if God has a hand, yes. for you to equate it with the hand that you know is a big fallacy. I didn't say that. Okay, so, if it, look, so it's either, yes. so it's not a hand, well, it is a hand, yes. or it's metaphorical, or it's a power. Yeah? You believe it's metaphorical? Okay. No. Exactly. That's the thing. That's okay. the difference. Yes. Because what we see is, his hand is nothing like I know. The clock has a hand. I can agree with that. Okay, so... The, but if you say he you has a hand... That, you bring him no, that, has got nothing to do with... But, if you, no, but look, if you say he has a hand, yes. Because you, for example, Muslims will say the Trinity doesn't uh, make it doesn't make logical sense. Yes. But if Allah has two right hands, yes. that is spatial dimension. No, no, yes, no, no. Because no. if God is no, transcendent, no. you cannot say he has two of no, anything. What are you doing is this? Because doing you this? can't distinguish. A, for example, a Christian believe. Let me just give you a Christian perspective. Yeah, that yes, we believe in the Trinity, but we believe God's divine essence is a spirit. We cannot say God has a face, God has a leg, God has because. Listen to what I'm saying. We say Jesus, yes, but the spirit came into the flesh, the divine essence. So God in his natural element, the Father, yes, doesn't have a face, two right hands. Because that is, if God is transcending... So he's, of, he's not going to sit on his if, throne? If God is... Tra God, we believe God can enter his creation. Okay. You believe... No, 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 phone, you believe is, he gonna, is he not going to sit on the phone? We, he's on we, his right hand? Listen, we believe God can enter creation. No, we so that, yeah, exactly. exactly. So yes. therefore, if Allah can't enter creation, yes. you cannot say yes, two right hands, no, because that is a spatial... No, 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 you're missing the point. Because what you're doing is, you're saying, you're saying... How do you distinguish no, a face no, from no, a hand? No, 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 you're missing the point. Because what you're saying is this, yeah? You're, you're giving it, yes. the reason, the, 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 the re when you're saying, is material is yes. where the flaw is. Because you're saying if, there's, if it's material, it yes. has to be bound in time. Yeah, exactly. It's a fallacy. Exactly. You know, so the therefore, that's why Allah cannot it? have two right hands. No, but because it, it's you're a spatial dimension. No, you're missing yes, the point. Yes, a face, no. a shin. You know what you're doing? Yes. I'll give you a very good example. Um, because it's basic logic. Let me tell you something. You cannot have describe something by this, spatial no, dimension no, no. Exactly if it doesn't doing. have it. This because is exactly what you're doing. Okay. You get a, you get a man from an island, yeah. You know this Christian guy who went to preach in an island and they killed him, yeah. Okay. okay. This guy, you get someone from there. He comes here and then he sees Ali talking on the phone. And I go, yo, baby boy, what are you saying, man? What are we debating today? And then he looks and he goes, yo, I went to London and I saw one man speaking to a metal. Yeah? Mm -hmm. So then his tribe goes to him and says, they think two things, yeah? This guy's crazy. Yeah? How is someone going to be speaking to a metal 
a metal or a, a, a plastic phone, whatever, yeah? If he was speaking, if it's true what he's saying, yeah. this is what they're going to do, this is what you're doing now. This is what they're going to do, they're going to say, hold on a second. If the, this metal phone can speak, yes. it should have a mouth. If it has a mouth, it should have a teeth. If it has a teeth, it should have a tongue. If it has a tongue, it should have a body. But that's not what I'm saying. No, 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 no. no. So this you're, one, you're making so, a straw nah, man nah, point. No, 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 no. Call it straw man. Yeah. To me, it's like iron. No. It's not a straw man. It's a yeah. straw man. Because no, no, no. Because logic, no, you missed the no, point. Logic, you missed the point. Okay. No, I've made my point. I'm, I'm, can I prove my point no, to you? No, no, but before you prove it, okay. what they've done is they've used what they know and compared it to okay. that. And that's exactly what you're doing. Okay. You're saying if God has a face, yes. That's material. If this material, it has to be. But in that's what logic dictates. No. Called, yes. You're missing the point. Log that's no, no, yeah, 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 yeah. You're right. Logic dictates you. that. But how but then you're going to recognize Allah? You're missing. How is he going to recognize what, Allah? What you're, what you're, yes. what you're, exactly. This is what you're missing. Yeah? Yes. The Trinity. Yes. Is not. It's not only against logic. Yeah? Okay, it doesn't make sense. But nor does Allah yeah. having two right no, hands. No, no, because no. Because that is outside. You're, that's you're part missing of the. You're missing the. Point. Okay, let me ask you this: On the third of every night, does Allah descend? Yes. To the third. To, so okay. how can something outside of creation descend no, into see, creation? No, see, that's firstly, that's who that's told you that, that, that defies logic. Who told you the creation that was because about. the lowest heaven is part of creation? No, you're missing the point. Who said it's talking about this heaven? This is the floor. The lowest heaven. It, it doesn't matter what heaven. Come on, come on. Okay. Okay. argument, man. This, this is really what I'm saying. Let, this is what I'm saying. The, he the seven heavens are all creation. So if Allah descends into the lowest, it is still considered as Allah is descending into creation. The word, the the word descent, yes. you're using it again with, because it's like me going to South Pole and saying, God is... So why is he going God, to the lowest heavens? Look, look, look. Must, it's like me going to the South Pole and saying, God is up. Oh, but well, South Pole is down. But then if I'm in the north, if I say God is no, up, you're making no, another fallacy. Nah, because fallacy. if there's seven heavens, the highest, he's gone it. to the lowest. Look, 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 look. Okay, how does? Look, look, okay, look. explain to us how does Allah get into the lowest level? Yeah, that's a big question. This is the reason why we say laser committee is shape. There is nothing that, no, like. That, that's, that's how hard. If I, if you ask me about the Shut Trinity and I say that, Shut you will not accept it. You say yes. how yeah. is the no, Trinity no, 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 no. Now, now what you're asking about is how God operates. Yeah? But we're asking Listen, about logic. Listen, if Listen. God exists outside no, of time no, and space, no, 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 no. and you said God what cannot enter creation, then no, no, no. he cannot go what to the lowest heaven. What you're asking now okay. is yes. how God operates. Neither I can ask that to you, yes. neither can you ask that to me. But when it comes to the Trinity, that's a whole no, different topic. Because I'm saying because that's a contradiction. No, it's not a contradiction. God cannot exist God, outside of no, creation no, 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 and not no, no, into no, no, creation, no, no. but then go to the lowest heaven. There is logic nothing, dictates how no, does he no, get to the lowest there heaven? There is nothing like it means how we operate. How yes. we because I'm saying to you, if you say there's nothing like Allah, right? Allah cannot enter creation. You cannot. Once again, how God operates, his attributes okay. are something, things, his attributes yes. are something that cannot be questioned. Neither That's Muslims, not good enough. No, no, no. no, no, no. no, no because no, we're no, talking no. about Tawheed versus yeah, Trinity. Yeah, yeah. So we want an explanation. For you to say to us, for example. Then you know when I can finish my Yeah, but I'm just saying. Uh, I'm I know I keep in time, But if you're saying, oh, we know Allah exists, Tawheed exists, but we don't know. Muslims do not uh, accept this answer from Christians. Yeah. They press the us. Trinity, how yeah. is exactly. This, how are they three? How, how are they one? No. That's what they pray. If I say to you, if I, if I, if I, if I exactly, you're comparing now, you to now, if you're, and you need to prove how something outside of creation can enter creation. No, no, we haven't said no, he entered. No, 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 Who told you no, this? No, 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 because no, 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 it says no, no, he low can enters I, the lowest can heaven. I, can, I, can, I, can I finish? No, no, one second. You're comparing bananas and the universe. Okay. That's what you're doing. The Trinity okay. and Al God Almighty's hand is a totally different chapter. Not even a chapter, different real. Trinity, that is a total illogical thing to it's say. The same thing yeah? about saying somewhere no, outside no, of creation no, no, enters no, hear, creation. Hear me out. Hear me out. Because we are the heavens. Okay. You telling us that the Father is God fully 100%. Yes. The Son is God fully 100%. The, uh, uh, the Son is God fully 100% God, but the uh, not all same God is madness. But God's attribute, when we say God has a hand, yes. for you to equate that to this realm is a fan, it's wrong. 
Because what I didn't you're doing say that. You're making a strong man point. I said, I said to you this. Iron man, this is what I said. Yeah? I'm asking. I said something. to you this, but let me. The argument you're making a strong. That's why the, the, I have to no, clarify. No, no, no. I said if something has two right hands and a face, it means the hands are distinct from the face. Yeah, Therefore, course. that is a spatial dimension. So because it be one. you can't describe something as different. If you said Allah is all hands, I say no, no, no. no, no. If you say something has a face and something has a hand, when, that when means the hand is different when, from the face. When, when, yeah, Therefore, that's a spatial dimension. That said, that's an element of creation. No, 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 it, it doesn't have to be like my hand. It doesn't have to be like any hand. I'm saying, once you distinct You see, you were making fun of me at a few years ago. I was saying the same that's thing. Remember? That's, that's a simple No, point. remember? No, yes or no? You said, you said... Everyone was mocking me, but now the brother said the same point. Wait, let me make my point. Wait, 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 let me divide Let me make my point. I'll tell you why. So you're saying his face and the same thing? It's still wrong. Because it's the same thing. Wait, wait, wait. So his hand on his face, same wait, thing. Exactly. Because it, listen to this. It says on the day of resurrection, Allah will reveal his shin, and uh, the Muslims will realize he is Allah. Okay. It doesn't say he will reveal his hand. So the shin is distinct from the hand. Exactly. And it doesn't say Allah will reveal his hand, and the, uh, the people will know. But it says when it says Did the I say shin, to you, the face, the hand, and the shin are one. I'm saying to you, they're distinct. That's why he reveals okay, his shin. Okay, but what I'm saying so is, therefore, if you, the, the shin is, is distinct from the hand, the it's a spatial dimension. It's basic logic. You cannot say spatial. Dimension because you're using your logic here to apply it there, which is so, wrong. But when we do that about the Trinity, no, you do not accept no, 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 it no, no, and no, no, say, no, no, no. Oh, your this does not make sense. No, but I'm saying to you, what your description of Tawhid doesn't make sense. That is God's attribute. Okay. God's attribute. You can't come and say God is 100% fully God, yeah. but there's another 100% fully God right next to it. Okay. That is forget logical. Okay. In any dimension, God rejects that for himself. That's why. None of the prophets ever But I've given that. you a quote from a Jewish scholar that says Christian theology is consistent with no, no, no. classical no, no, no. Jewish sources. Yeah, you found, you found, you found one person and I'm saying which we need to check yeah, I'm and saying find out what he meant. Yeah, that's so, right. So, so, I'm no, saying to you next week. No, hear me out. Yeah. I'm, I'm just saying next week. Trinity, you are talking a lot. Once again, God saying God is 100% fully God. Yes. Another 100% fully God. In another hundred and forty God, nobody would accept it except the people who are either misguided, they don't know, or they know, but they're in okay. core disbelief. To so compare that to God's hand, shin, two, two hands. and look, even look, look, even I'm doing the floor. No, 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 look, even I'm doing the floor, I go shin. Listen. Is the shin the same as the hand? Hear me out. No. Then there's two different beings then. So therefore, that's a spatial dimension. Two because beings. Because has a shin and a hand, it means they're different. That's it. But that's, that's something, get, Allah's I'm, not I'm, like, I'm, I'm, listen, listen to what I'm saying. I'm going to try one last time. No, because listen to your friend here, your friend here, your friend here, your friend here, your friend here is claiming this. Allah has a hand. Yes. Allah has a face. Yes. Allah has a shin. Yes. Allah has a foot. Okay. He's claiming the foot is God. The shin is God, the face is God, the hand is God. Of course. You're crazy. Okay, so but of course. Wait, 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 wait. What are you going to recognize that? Okay, what are you going to recognize that? What? Okay. Okay. Of course, you're that's crazy. true. You're okay. crazy, yeah? Okay. Now, your boy ain't saying that. I know he's not saying that because he's not confirming it. Yeah? What he's saying, they're not the same. Okay, yeah. I accept that. Okay. But you're putting them into dimension. You're saying, if the hand is there, and the face is there, there's two things there. Yes. And the shin is there, and the foot is there. Yes. Your fam, there's two, four things there. If there's four things there, they have to be in what you always say? Creation. Okay. This is a fallacy because Allah says in the Quran, well, uh, yeah, but that's shade. circular reason. So, no, 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 no. I'll tell you why. 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 Because I just. This is our argument. Yeah? This yes. is why David would try it. It didn't work. Why? Because we say there is nothing like it. Again, what that means is, reason, if God said, reason. if God said, if God said, I, um, for example, he, God caught Adam eating the uh, thing. Yes. Yeah, God was walking. Okay. Now I can't. If I came and questioned you about that, you're right. You're going to say, Ali, you're a hypocrite. You come and question about God walking. Ha <laughs> You laugh. But when we question you about God having a feet, then I'm with you. I'm a hypocrite. I'm, I'm wrong. Say that again. If I came yeah. to you and yeah. said, when God was walking in heaven, yeah, and he caught Adam eating the apple. I can yeah. explain that to you. Okay, no, no, no. But if I, came, if I came and laughed at you and said, ha, 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 God, I can, God yeah. walked, yeah. then I'm a hypocrite. No. You know why? Because, yes. because you know why? 
because don't this, I'm trying to say don't get the Trinity conflated with God's attribute because right. it's a totally yeah, different thing. You're conflating it because I you're I can prove to you from don't scripture what that them. what don't that meant. No, 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 I'm asking you what does it mean. No, no, I don't know what it means. But even I do, if you though. said to me, God, uh, Ali, it's nothing like you think. It's not the walking that we do. I say okay, I, I respect it. I can't God, argue. Can but I'm not. I'm, I'm not making that point. Uh, if you did, yeah, but you're making. But don't conflate the You're making a red herring point. Because you I'm saying to you though, I can show you from the Jewish cla classical interpretation what that meant. I'm asking you because we're talking about there's nothing we're like talking it. about Tawheed. His right? hand, his shin, his face. His face. Okay. There's nothing. Like, for example, let me ask you. Imagine your head. Okay, okay, let, me, let me ask you: Is Allah on his throne or above his throne? He's on his throne. So how can? He went on his throne. So he rose above his throne. Yes. So that's enough. So spatial dimensions there you go see yeah, how, yeah but how you, can you rise then how arise can, is location how, no, but you see, that's what i'm saying no, but this what you're I'm saying, saying we're talking about logic then, then, then how, how could you, you then how could you blame me when i say to you if you get a man a caveman bring him here and i'm speaking on the phone and he says i heard ali speaking to a phone yeah but let's no one said really, how can then you're exactly like him he's going to say i went and saw a man speaking to a plastic and his tribe is going to say fam if he was talking to a plastic we know talking as a mouth a tongue a teeth so the phone had the tongue? No, it didn't. But what are they doing? They're using what they have learnt here in this realm and applying it to something they do not grasp. So when when and you when you, you when you apply the same logic to the Trinity, how, oh that's why God. you can be called a hypocrite because oh, if something on. outside of space time that God has three persons, three hundred percent deep, three persons, 300%. yes, it's beyond creation or comprehension. No, no, no. But yeah, you're yeah, yeah. you're now the man on the phone yeah, yeah. saying, "Is the man and the no, 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 no. Is, no. Yes, because no, I'm saying to you, you believe it's science, not basic science. Then. Explain to me. Listen to this. Basic, basic, science. basic science says if something moves, it? it's creation. Oh my, that's the problem. You, you said he science. rose. Science that's and logic. God. How do you determine science. your logic? What science? Science you, uses okay. Uses what, logic. our five senses yes. and logic so what are you, and conclusions bro, bro, in our world. So what? Are, what are you exactly? Science so what? Are, talk about God. So how can I? How come you don't apply this logic when I talk about the Trinity? Come on, when you talk about the Trinity, you're yes. telling me something that contradicts God's nature. According to who? God. God having, according to the Quran. God, God having a hand. Exactly. It's God, not according no, to the Quran. No, no, That's no, why no, I said to you. No, I can no, prove no. to you it, from Scripture. There's a distinction. Go to a little child. Go to a little child and say to them, you know the Father. The Father is God. So okay, no. you know Jesus, he's also God 100%. Okay, and Holy Spirit, he's also God. Yeah? Okay, the, the child will say, Okay, which one is God? But if okay. I said, You know, God has a hand, okay, the child wouldn't say, Is he a man? That's what he's gonna say. If I say, Only a man, only a man has a hand, a woman doesn't have a hand. That's what the child's gonna say. Child's gonna say though. If I said to the child, God was sitting on his throne and he rose above it. He might say, did God fart or something and lift in the air? <laughs> okay, okay. So, yeah, as, as, as a child. That's what okay, going to say. So child, we can't use child. No, no, no. no. Child, as, a, as a child. child logic. As a child, yes. you can explain it. But no, tell, you me, can't. tell me how you can how explain can you, to an adult yes. the Trinity. I can explain because, this to an adult. Because the thing is, say, I, will say to, like I'll say to the, I will say to the child, we have a universe. Scientists cannot even fully comprehend the universe that we live in. Yes. There are some things beyond, beyond our comprehension. If you can't understand the universe, for example, quantum science and whatnot, yes. you cannot understand a being that is more complex than the universe that we live in. Of because if you un fully you understand, understand God, Listen, that don't... means you're kind of classifying of God. So therefore, if, if I, I say God has three, God, what's the difference because the and problem and is this, you believe God, uh, I think, yeah, it's um, in the Quran, 11, 42.11, it says there's nothing like Allah. Nothing. Yeah. So you believe creation is one person, one being, right? Christians say there's nothing like God because God is one being, three persons. That is the true definition of nothing like creation. If Allah nothing is one like person, one, yes, because well, you're, you believe that one being has to have one person. As in your being, you but said you're, I'm a man. You're, you're person, yes. What's wrong with but you? we believe God is a being, but he has three persons. That is listen, nothing listen, like listen, creation. Listen, listen. But when you're telling me you Allah has if, he can't I enter his creation listen, point and has two one, hands no, no, no. and a face no, 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 no. and a chin. No, no, no. no, no. Why point, point. Huh? Why isn't there ten? Because that's what God has revealed. No, 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 exactly. That's see, that's if, a very if there was more No, but that's a very valid point. Clearly repeats every single time. Was you there when the scripture is written? Listen, listen. Are you there when the scripture is paper written? Paperboy, listen, yeah? No. Listen, I don't need listen, to be paper boy, paper boy. You know what it comes down yes. to? I'm if, saying what I believe. If you can't listen to him, listen, listen, my point, no, my point is this. I can justify my belief from the scripture that I read. Nah, from. nah, nah. It nah, doesn't, nah, even nah, for nah, argument's nah, sake, nah, if it was made up by someone a hundred years ago, yes. I can still prove my no, belief from no, my scripture. No, you That's can't. That's what I'm saying. 
This is the crux yes. of the matter now. You see, okay. this is the reason why I always say we go to the scripture. Yes. Because if God stipulated and told us that God is the Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, I'll be the first one to believe. Okay. So, therefore, That's from the assumption the exactly. that scripture is correct. Yeah. This is what I've been saying. <laughs> This is what I've been saying. Okay. This is the crux of the but matter. But that's a straw man this point. Is, we, we, no, we started. No. It's so only your straw man. Is to, to his. I yes. tell, because this but argument started of the Trinity versus the ta oh, versus Tawheed. Not I mean, about whether the scripture no. has been corrupted. See, see, Where, see, 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 I'm saying for argument's sake, let's for argument's sake say the, the Bible is corrupted, yes? I'm saying I can no. I, listen to what I'm saying. I'm saying with the because the debate is not about the authenticity or whether it's been corrupted. I'm saying I can prove my belief from this book. book. It, that's your another view. argument that's because, yeah. because we're going to go into I'm, something I'm else. Rubbish, that's rubbish, your rubbish, opinion. I'm not being that's, being that's your opinion. Rubbish, I'm and having so, a discussion with him. I want to listen to him. Please, okay. let's have some respect. Finish your, your belief. Yes. Finish yeah. your point. As, yeah. a, as a Trinitarian. Finish your point. That is I, your belief. Exactly. I'm saying I have to justify my you're, belief. You're entitled to that belief. Exactly. He can justify it. He can. Yes. That's the point. He can justify his belief. He was there when the scripture was written. He wasn't there when the scripture was written. So you can't. Can I say it in your own eyes? Can I. Can you. Can you. So all you're arguing over is two books, but yeah, yeah. they're real. Okay. Came too late yeah. in so, Can we now finish this point? Yeah, so my point was, I mean, we'll wrap up because we've been talking for a while. Yeah, yeah. Maybe we'll do this again. Yeah, yeah. But my point was, yeah. this conversation is about the Trinity versus Tawheed, not the authenticity of the book. Because I have to prove that God has three persons from the book that I read. <laughs> Regardless of if you believe it's corrupted or not, that's a straw man point. Can I justify my belief from the scripture? And my argument was yes. But we have a standard as Muslims. Again, that's another argumentation. If you that, fail that's to a prove it, because he's saying, for example, that the Trinity does not make sense. A creature outside of um, space and time cannot have attributes that distinguish it. For example, a hand, a leg, a shin, a face. It cannot descend or ascend because that is a, cre a feature of. Um, creation that's why we have a space-time continuum and it says you can't have one without the other that's why I keep ramming home the point but you keep saying to me but the Quran says that's circular argumentation I'm not saying whether Allah is or isn't but I'm saying that it defies logic so when you make a claim against the Trinity uh, defying logic I will say because the Bible says before you take the speck of dust out of someone's eye take the plank of wood out of your own eye so before you're attacking the Trinity and saying it doesn't make sense to most scientists if you go and find me a scientist that says agrees with you that something can exist outside of outside of creation and move up and down left and right they'll tell you that doesn't make sense it's not logical yeah, and I, I, wouldn't, I wouldn't blame them any verse yes. mentioned uh, Trinity? So, so basically, there's, there's, these, 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 well, we're wrapping up now. So these, so these, these, maybe yeah. we'll have a discussion. This is remember, this is this is the problem. Yeah, number one, there's two issues here. Yeah? Okay, <laughs> number one is that this is the reason why when I first came to you, I said we talk about Tawhid and yes. Trinity. Yes. And we will connect them to the scriptures yes. because I can come to you all day and we can have a Hindu come in and telling us no, 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 Hinduism, yes. Buddha, Buddha, Buddhism, Buddhism. Yeah, wasting our time. We go to the crux of the matter, the root of the tree, not the branches. This is why it's really important because he said that he can prove the Trinity. I swear upon God, yes. you will not know the Trinity without the Bible. No way. I would not know Islam, I would not know the Prophet Muhammad without the Quran. But without the Quran, would I know God exists? Yes. Would I say God has a partner? No. Would you this say God today. has a right hand without this the Quran? Okay, or the shin. this, this, okay, I wouldn't. Exactly. Hands, hands down. I wouldn't, but let me tell you something, yeah? I would know okay. that there is nothing like him. That's what something that I would but know. The, the, and the, you the, know... This is a fallacy. I didn't stop you. Okay, okay. You know very well that without your scripture, fam, you will not know about Jesus died for your sins, the Trinity, Jesus is God, nothing. You will be on our side, you'll be with me, and I'll say, fam, you believe in God, yeah? We both believe in God. You believe there's something like uh, God, yes. Is there anything like him? There's nothing like him. He's the most powerful, the most powerful, the most merciful. We would be in agreement. It's only the scripture that comes that's made you believe in the Trinity. The uh, Jesus died for your, uh, it's your sins, yeah? Okay. So don't come and tell me. That's why I said let's go to the scripture. Now you telling me that going to the scripture and if the scripture is not from God is a red herring. Red herring. 
I'm, I don't know what else to say to that. Because, fam, it's like me giving you, it's the root. If the root is corrupted, what is the tree going to bear? Well, that's, that, that's a straw man yeah. part. We're either, debate, we're, going, we're, we're, we're either debating the authenticity man. of listen. the scripture or we're debating the listen, uh, Trinity. Listen, listen, They're two I different see, subjects. No, 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 I that's why you, you can go online and you'll see you, people have on, a I debate just, on you, either. I said to you, Trinity and Tawheed, we can speak about it all day. Yes. We need to go to the crux of the matter. Hey, boy, I've said this to you before, I'll say it again. Yes. I am okay. ready. When you came look, up look, to look, me, look, did you ask me, yes. did you say we will debate on the yes, authenticity? Yes, man, did I not come and you tell said, you? No, you said we'll, we'll discuss the Trinity no. from the scripture, yes. not the authenticity. No, 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 no. Okay. Okay. Yeah, did no you problem. say that? You yes misunderstood no? me. Okay, you but then you have to make yourself clear. I'm making myself clear. Because they're two different... I wasn't clear, I'm making it clear. All right. I'm repenting. Like, yeah? Okay. Okay. Now. I'm saying something, yeah? I am ready to leave Islam. Okay. Ready. Show me the Quran is corrupted, it's not from God, I'm ready to leave Islam. Are you ready to do the same thing? We'll have a discussion. We'll do this debate next week. Okay. The authenticity no, no, of the that. Bible no, no, I know, and the authenticity I know. of the Bible. I'm saying, I'm saying. Because I'm they're, they're very big topics. No, no, That's no, why. No, no, no. Look, no, no, no. are you ready to. Look, I'm saying I need to deal first. I can't just come and waste my time. Ask me what yeah. this Are you ready? I'm saying I am ready to leave Islam, denounce Islam, if you prove to me the Quran is corrupted, it's not from God. Okay. Are you ready to do the same? Bring the evidence. If the Bible is proven, why do you leave the Christian? Yeah, the thing is, bring, bring your evidence. Look, look, look. Why am bring I look, 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 why am I so <laughs> because, because the thing is, we, we have to establish a criteria. My, look, 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 look. You're my criteria. Anyone, look, Allah says in the Quran, if this was not from your Lord, bring that chapter back here. My, one second, I'm look, I'm you see, sure. Because I'm, he, he's diverting no, no, from Tawheed because he knows. Because we're not going to let's week. just finish about, yeah, but let's just finish about Tawheed and Trinity. Tawheed yeah, and just, Trinity, yes. we debated it today. So finish, you said you're wrapping up. Finish, so, finish, finish. Okay. So, so if it's finished, then I'm trying to move on to the crux okay. of the matter. So, 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 you, so now we're going deep. Okay, so I'm are saying, you finished now with Tawheed? Of course, it's finished. You said we have to go okay. and finish. I'm right. I've made my case clear. Okay. It's very clear. You're not going to make the judgment. I'm saying, look, I am ready to denounce this now if you can prove to me the Quran is not from what God. Is, what is true? What does define true? No, you need to prove to me, Allah says in the Quran, bring a chapter like this. If you cannot do that, you're not the Arabic speaker, no problem, Allah has mercy on you. Yeah? Bring contradictions and errors. Show me verses that have been taken out by men. Corruption. Yeah. Prove to me that anyhow, the Quran is not from God. I'm ready to denounce it. Now, I'm asking you, I'm very bold. Look, I'm, I've got nothing to hide. I've sent it to the camera. I've got a few cameras here, yeah? This is how sure I'm with my faith. This is how sure. Okay. I'm saying if you are as sure, and right. if, if you're sincere, I hope you are, because that's the only reason I'm speaking to you. I, I don't talk to any, anyone else, yeah? Okay. If you're looking for the truth, paper boy, right. very simple. If the truth is with Christianity, brother, I okay. will follow Christianity. So, so this is what, this this what the claim I make to you. So if you can pr prove to me that the Jewish... Um, so Christian theology is inconsistent with the earliest Jewish classical sources and their beliefs. Listen to me. You gave me your criteria about bring us. You said Allah said bring us sure like I'm giving you the Christian criteria now. You're talking about the doctrine. I'm talking about scripture. Listen, I. You see, you're saying bring us sure like I'm saying to you. If you can prove to me that Christian belief is inconsistent with the earliest beliefs of Jews and the classical text. That doesn't mean the book is not from God though. Okay, let's, let's and if, you, if you can prove to me that the Christian doctrine has been corrupted, then I will leave Christianity. Okay, that's, that's, that's my okay, standard. So that means, and I've said, I made that clear. Okay, that's, okay, you gave me your standard okay, no, no, and second, I've given no, you no, my one standard. Second, one second. If I come and say to you, the Bible is corrupted. If I prove to you the Bible is corrupted. Listen to what I'm saying. I'm saying... You can, you, the you can you, the listen, listen to me. Listen to me. What I'm saying. You can bring one verse and say, look. No, 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 this, no, no, no. this. I'm saying that my verses. core belief. Ten verses. I'm saying my core. I'm saying my core belief. You if you can show my core belief, your core belief is from the Bible. I'm going to disprove the Bible. I'm showing you. I'm asking you this, brothers. Please. If you can show my core belief has been corrupted, I will leave Christianity. That's what I believe. And we have one and two and three. Your core belief is from the Bible. If I show the Bible is corrupted, your core belief falls apart. Yeah. Bring your evidence. Bring your evidence next week. Right. All right. Okay. And and what that means is that we stick to our word, yeah? yeah. I'll denounce this now. Okay. And you have to. Because if not, then what's the point of us talking? Yes. Yeah? Yeah? And, you, and okay. you have research to do about the mutter as well. Look, look, that, that, that's the another issue. No, because right you, now, right now, yeah. mutter is not going to save your iman. Because. Yeah? Okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> this right now is the Trinity, Tawheed, oh, and the scriptures. Oh, right.
Next Monday. What time? I mean, you're confused. <laughs> you say too much. <laughs> <laughs> well, well, I'm, I'm always here from like two, three, well, about three o'clock anyway, so any time from then. Pray, look, I'm asking you, I'm going to pray as well. You pray as well. Let's be sincere. We're not here to play games. Okay, this is the truth. I don't want you to go here. We don't want you to go here. Yeah? So let's pray. Whichever is the truth, I'll yeah. raise it as uh, accepted. Oh. I don't pick here's this. I'm here for egos, yeah? Next if Christianity is the truth, I want to the truth. So let's do that, inshallah. He didn't want that. So, yeah, just, just just a quick wrap up. I mean, that was a bit of a long debate. I mean, I I, I could have gone a bit harder on um, Ali Dawa. You saw us in a little bit, did. But my my thing is this: that when we look through the classical sources, that's why I reject what modern day Jews believe. They follow a 12th century scholar called Mam Mamonides. But I'm saying, if you can prove to me that my faith is inconsistent with what the earliest Jews believed and that Christianity's doctrines have been corrupted, then you have a point. But I find it very strange that Muslims will say, how can God be three and one? It defies logic. Well, we have to question what logic are they using? Because when I use the same logic that's dictated from science that says God cannot have two right hands or a leg or a shin, because that is something we only use in creation or to identify with creation, because it's consistent with spatial dimensions. So therefore, if Allah lowers or Allah rises, or descends to the lowest heavens, he enters creation. Because Muslims say, well, we don't know how, we're not allowed to question it. But that's not, when we question the, the, the Trinity, we have to explain it. If I said, you know, uh, God is three in one in a way that befits his majesty, would a Muslim accept that? They would not. So when they say that Allah does this in a way that befits his majesty, I want to know the details as well, because okay. this is Trinity versus uh, Tawheed. So that, in my conclusion, I don't think Ali, Ali Dao did an adequate job. He used circular reasoning and going into the Quran to say Allah says this and that. But when we kind of compare it to logic that they use to refute the, the Trinity, and I'm showing him scriptures that show there's a distinction in the nature of God, he doesn't want to accept it. So we'll continue this next week and go into the authenticity of the Bible.